In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a customer support agent using NA10. To start off, you're going to head over to NA10 and you can get started for free. I'm going to sign into my account. Once you have signed in, you're going to click on create workflow and you need a trigger to start off your workflow. So click on add first step and for our case, you're going to go with Gmail. You want our workflow to be triggered on any message that's going to be received onto our Gmail account. So we're going to select on message received and for every message that's going to be received onto our email account, this Gmail node is going to be triggered. Go ahead and connect your credentials. I already have mine connected and under mode, I wanted to check on my Gmail account after every minute, but you can go with every hour, every day, every week, every month. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with every minute. The event is going to be message received. From here, I'm going to click on fetch test event and you can see that it's fetched an email that I earlier on had sent to myself. Let's turn off this simplify button so that it's able to fetch the entire email. Then click on fetch test event again. And now you can see that the entire email has been fetched. I'm going to pin this data right here so that it doesn't go back fetching for new emails. So this is the data that you're going to use for our entire workflow. What we now need to do from here is add an AI to check whether our email is customer support related. If yes, a response is going to be written back to the customer. And if no, we are going to do nothing. To do that, we're going to add a text classifier node. So click on this plus button. And we're going to select text classifier node. And you can now see that this text classifier requires an AI model for it to classify our text. So click on this plus button and we're going to add an AI model. I'm going to select open AI chat model. Connect your account right here. And under model, I'm going to select GPT for mini. The model has now been connected. And when you go back to our text classifier, you can see that it requires a text to classify. To do that, you're going to come over here to our left and under our Gmail trigger, we're going to select the actual text that we received in our inbox. So we're going to drag it and you're going to drop it under text to classify. Next, you're going to add a category. So click on add category. And our first category is going to be customer support. We're going to give it a brief description. Under description, I'm going to click on expression and I'm going to paste in a brief description describing to it how a customer support email should look like. I'm also going to add another category. So I'm going to click on add category. And this other one is going to be called other. So any other email that does not fall under the category of customer support. I'm going to type in a simple description here. And I have asked it to check on any other email that does not fall under the customer support category. Now when you come back here, you can see that our text classifier now has two branches. A customer support branch and another one for any other emails. Let's test this workflow before we move on to the next step. Now let's click on execute workflow. And you can see that our workflow has been executed successfully. The customer support category has been triggered and you can see that you already have one item here. Let's check on the text classifier and you can see that under customer support branch, we have an output. And the output is our email. Let's move on and add an AI agent up to the customer support branch. So click on this plus sign. I'm going to select AI and I'm going to select AI agent. Under our user message, I'm going to select define below. We're going to define the kind of user message that you're going to expect. So let's come over here to our left and under the Gmail trigger, I'm going to bring in the actual text. And from here, we need our system prompt. So let's add option and we're going to select system message. Click on expression. I'm going to expand it so that it's visible. I'm going to paste in my prompt right inside here. And this prompt has given our system a role. So it says you're a customer support email assistant. Your task is to draft clear, empathetic and helpful email responses to customer inquiries. It's a detailed prompt and I know that it's going to be very helpful for our AI agent. Now let's go back and we're going to add a chat model. So I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to select open AI chat model. Connect your credentials right here and under model, I'm going to select for all mini. It's a very affordable model. Let's come over here and we're going to select a tool. And for our tool, we're going to select our vector store to so select Fincon vector store. Go ahead and connect your credentials and you'd want your operation mode to be retrieve documents. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it FAQs. And under description, I'm going to type in a simple description asking it to retrieve data from the Pinecon vector store. Now let's select our Pinecon index. So this Pinecon index right here, this is where our FAQs are. For our case, it's called Rugged Chatbot. So I'm going to select Rugged Chatbot. I'm also going to add the Pinecon namespace. 
let's check out what our namespace was so it's that chat bot so i'm going to select this one here and i'm going to take it there from here we're going to add an embedding i'm going to select embeddings open ai connect your account ensure that the model that you select is similar to the one that you used in your vector store so I use text embedding Chris Smalls and this is the one that I'm going to select. Everything looks good. Let's test out our AI agent before we move on to the next step. I'm going to click on the execute button and you can see that our node has now been executed successfully. Now let's click on this plus sign and this time you're going to have the email that has been generated by this AI agent sent back to the customer. So you can see that we have our output here which is an email that has been drafted by our AI agent. We want this output to be sent back to the customer. So we're going to add a Gmail node. I'm going to type in Gmail and this time we want it to send a message. So select send a message. Connect your Gmail credentials. Your resource is going to be message. The operation is going to be send. And that too. This email is going to be sent back to the customer. So I'll come over here again to Gmail trigger and I'm going to drag in this email address that sent the email. The subject is going to be customer support and I'd want the email type to be text. The message is going to be the output from the AI agent. So I'm going to drag the output and I'm going to place it there. Everything seems to be okay. But before we execute our step, I would want to remove n 10 attribution so click on append n 10 attribution we do not want our email to have a sign of indicating that our email has been sent from n 10 so we are going to turn this off and everything should now be okay let's execute this step so that you can see whether our email is going to be sent back to us you can see that the node has been executed successfully let me go over to my email and i'm going to check whether this email has been sent you can see that we now have an email that has been sent back to us and the email looks really good. It has highlighted everything that was asked and is in the FAQ. Now, this is exactly what you need if you're looking for a customer support AI agent. It's very simple and you can have it working for you in no time. Before you move out of this space, just click on save and ensure that you turn on the active button. Ensure that your workflow is always active. If you also want to have it work for you, ensure that you unpin the initial message that you used for our test workflow. Then click on save. This agent should now be able to work for you. And for any email that you receive in your inbox regarding customer support, this agent should be able to respond back to your customer. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Until next time, God bless.